Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm making crispy ground beef tacos. Now the method that I'll be using you might not be familiar with. You actually might find it weird, but I'll be spreading a thin layer of seasoned raw ground beef on my corn tortillas, fold it, fry it, and then I'm going to fill it with toppings. Now I suspect my family did this from time to time to stretch a pound of ground beef. I also do this sometimes to make flautas or taquitos. I will link that recipe video in the description below. Either way, this is gonna be good. Okay, so here I have a pound of lean ground beef and I'm going to season it. You could just add a packet of taco seasoning from the grocery store, that works. I'm just going to use, I'm gonna season it with like several things from my pantry. Here I have some beef bouillon powder, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika. Here I have a seasoned salt. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of ground cumin, some chili powder. This is a fancy light chili powder. I'm also going to add cornstarch, uh, like a tablespoon. Yeah, that works. Now with my hands, I'm gonna give it a mix. And I forgot, I also have some dried cilantro. That's optional. Season your ground beef how you like. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna prep my corn tortillas and all I'm gonna do is just kinda of spray a little bit of oil in between all of them and warm them on a preheated griddle. Or you can just add oil on your griddle and pass them through the hot oil quickly. This is to soften them, make them pliable, and you'll be able to fold them without it cracking or breaking. So I'm just gonna let that heat through on each side. If you are putting oil on the griddle, you're just going to preheat the oil. It's just a little shallow, like, pass-through. You're not really frying it crispy. You're warming it through to make it soft. Flip. And then after this is warmed through, I'll just place it back on my baking sheet and repeat the process for all of the tortillas to make them soft. Okay, so my corn tortillas are softened and pliable. I kind of let them cool a little bit. They're not steaming, piping hot. And here's my ground beef mixture. So to put these together, um, I'm gonna place my corn tortilla here and I'm just gonna take a little bit. This is the whole, <laughs> the whole stretching a pound of beef. So I'm gonna flatten it with my hand and I have this hand with a glove. Um, I should have put that hand with a glove. And then you just kind of spread it onto the tortilla on one side. You can definitely add more. You don't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be super thin, but I guess I'm kind of going back to when I was a kid watching my family make these and that's what they did. They thinly spread the ground beef and I like to add some onion and just kind of press it in a little bit, whatever we'll press in and then you fold it. And when you fold it, it doesn't break because you know, you softened it. And now I'm just gonna put it over here on my plate and repeat the process. Okay, so these are ready. And I failed to mention this earlier, this recipe easily will make 20 of these if you do a thin layer inside the uh, corn tortillas. Now, if you add more, then, you know, maybe 15, but definitely 20. Okay, so my fry oil is ready, so I'm gonna start frying these. Oh, I wanted that, there it goes. And it shouldn't take tons of time to cook these. Uh, you wanna make sure the ground beef is cooked and the exterior is golden brown and crispy. I'll probably flip it at some point and that's pretty much what you're going for. Golden brown, crispy on the outside and cooked on the inside.
Okay, so I want to show you. I've already flipped this twice, and as you can see, the ground beef is cooked on the inside. So this is nice and crunchy and golden brown, so I'm just going to remove this one, let the oil kind of come out, and then I'm going to take it over to my wire rack and let it hang out until uh, the rest of them are cooked. Okay, so my tacos are done, and I'm gonna just create this cream sauce. Here I have a small avocado that needs to be used. I'm gonna add some Mexican crema. I'm also gonna add some pickled jalapenos, the juice of the jalapenos, like a couple of tablespoons, and salt to taste. And that's just going to be something I add on top of the tacos. some of the pickled jalapenos in here. Mm, and some of the juice. Hey, look, there's a carrot that's going in too. Some Mexican crema. The rest of that, say like a three quarters of a cup to a cup. Salt. Okay, so I have fresh lettuce, tomato, some shredded cheese. I've got my creamy avocado jalapeno sour cream or crema, and I have my tacos. So I'm going to show you how I put them together. Really sim simple. Garnish how you like, and you've got ground beef tacos. Okay, so we're going to go. So you can kind of open these up carefully, and even if they break, that's life. And just add your lettuce. Tomato, we got cheese, and we'll do the crema. I want a little bit more tomato in here. Okay, and that's your taco. So simple. Garnish how you like. Crispy golden brown ground beef tacos, and the method I use kind of stretches that pound of lean ground beef. So good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.